all of you can see. Oh, this is Stefan, by the way, guys. Hello. Uh, <laughs> you guys have seen him before in one of my videos. He was moving the tank across when I got the old new studio. <laughs> anyway, all this stuff down here is all the new uh, tanks that I told you about that were coming for the shrimp setup that we're going to be doing. We've got loads of unboxings to do. I'm just going to get them all out and then show you what we've got. So we've got a good amount of equipment there. We've got six OptiWhite 30 centimeter cubes, two lighting units, air pump, six filters, tubing. I've got more tubing as well. Any questions, Steph? What's this? <laughs> Those, uh, that's a six way, uh, that's the four way one that come with the kit, but I bought an extra six way valve system. So then one goes in the back from that, that air pump there and then it splits it six ways to get each one of the filters and they forgot to send, or maybe it's in the packaging somewhere, I'll have to check for that. Um, yeah. Any other questions, Stefan? Yeah, what's next? <laughs> Why are you talking like that? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> uh, we got to put back in. Uh, what do you think? Like, up here, should we put on this area? They're going on here, so we're having through on the bottom, through on the top. Yeah. Should it have a black backing on it? on each one so that they really you know stand out and their own thing or should I keep them clear like we've done on the new tank next to the Ember Tetra one why, Stefan is an artist by the why, way guys and an architect so he has an eye for this stuff my my thought would be do half and half because you can no we're so definitely not do doing bottom that half, bottom half black or top half black no, actually no you're right because then we can see how it looks exactly. and I can add it to the other ones after exactly. see this is why you're clever thanks <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, I haven't, I used, I just tinted these windows. Doesn't actually look like it there, but they are tinted because that would be like white right now. So I used up all the black tin, but I've got another one that's turned up, but I forgot to bring it. So we'll cut to that in a minute. Like, subscribe. Lift this up. Ready? Ready. Hit it. Full speed. Just take it for a way. Right, so we bang some holes in these top struts here so that we can attach the lights using some cable ties just going across. It'll look tidy, you won't even notice. But I'm not sure whether to put like the black out the whole section at the back or not. So I think what I'm gonna do first of all is put on some limo tint on the back of each one and just see what that looks like. And then if I want to, I can just black out the back after. What? You didn't wanna take my advice then and do half and half. Um, well, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. So yeah, we've drilled two little holes. Well, we didn't drill in the end because we couldn't find a drill. So we just punched the holes through with a screwdriver. Cowboys. It done the job though. And that's the thing, you've got to get the job done, use what you've got. We didn't have time to go to the shop. Anyway, right. So we've got the light fittings here or light fixtures. Cable tie, swoop it round, it's black. It should blend in. Awesome, jump in the hole to an extent. Yeah, I think if you can hold that. Yeah. So we've now cable tied the wiring right to the back. That last bit there, Steph, we need to tidy that up, tuck it in behind. Nice, ready to switch on, see what it looks like. Moment of truth. Da, 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 da. What was that noise you used to do? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, the switch. <laughs> the s <laughs> Moment of truth. Yes, looking good. Look at that, that's gonna look wicked. That's just right. Just what we want, not too bright. Oh, by the way, it's all a bit smeary. All the glass needs clean and everything, but that looks perfect, I love that. What do you think, Steph? You couldn't have done it without me. Well, I probably could have, but you were helpful, definitely. And I taught you how to put limo tint on as well. Yeah. So, um, Steph's so gonna- Now I can tint my limo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... <laughs> no, but you have got a van, haven't you? So you wanna black out the back windows. It's exactly the same stuff that you would put on a car. Um, and it's easy to do, so easy. You, there's no glue, it's just water, squidgy, trim, done. Woohoo, there we have it. Woohoo, woohoo, no. <laughs> anyway, how cool does that look? 
So that'll be a wall of green, obviously, once I get it full of plants. Now, I'm not gonna go full of plants because obviously it's for shrimp and I wanna be able to see the shrimp, see if they're breeding, catch them, change some around, move them about, you know, cause you can't keep all of them. Some of them breed badly. Uh, I don't know what that meant. <laughs> no, he don't. He doesn't have a clue. I just, to be honest, I, I'm just looking at what great job I've done. You've, we've done, we've done. There's no I in we. <laughs> Thing is though, Stefan doesn't even own a fish tank and never has, have you? No, I have, no, not personally. But guess what? He is getting a new house soon and he wants me to do a nice big build, no, medium sized build, like this size, um, for that. So, is that true? I just made that up there and then. I mean, yeah. Yes. <laughs> So Stefan actually lives four hours away from me in London and I'm in the southwest of England so it's a feral journey, he's gone home but it was really nice having someone to actually do videos with because ever since I started YouTube it's been just me, that's probably the first video where someone's like properly featured in it and I really enjoyed it and so did he so he's now going to possibly come in a future build video, maybe when I do the Amazon tank, get involved, help with ideas, it's really good to have someone talk stuff along with you and you know bounce off them even if you sometimes ignore what they say like I did but he did agree in the end. The all black backgrounds on these are looking really, really good, aren't they? And I think once we get some greenery in there, some different shrimp and all that sort of thing, the water bubbling up, oh, it's gonna look great, isn't it? So good. Now back over to the Ember Tetra tank. If you remember before, I said that a lot of stuff was rotting away. Now I've picked out a huge amount of it. This is all just the red root floaters. And I, I just really like those ones and I want them to do really well. And then at the background there, I've got some, some more of the frog bit still that was actually doing really well in that back corner with no flow. So maybe it is a flow is issue as suggested. So we'll just watch that and see what happens. And then down here on the floor, I've actually got uh, all of it taken out and chucked in and out just to see how it does. If it all rots away, whatever, we can we can just chuck it out. But it's good to know and just to, to monitor it. So that is the racking system complete. Well, not complete because I haven't filled up with water, but that's all coming soon. I actually ran out of airline hose and all the stuff to connect it because it's quite a complicated system. I, well, that's an exaggeration. It's six tubes coming off that split up. <laughs> what I want to do is fill them all up with water and get the filters running so that they're all getting cycled bit of soil at the bottom and then as we go I can start building scapes and then all the tags will be fully cycled by the time I come to scape them and add shrimp. Loads and loads of stuff to come so if you haven't subscribed do it click it and I'll see you in the next one.